Hey guys, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we are going to be building and hopefully printing, but probably not in the same day, but in today's video. What am I saying? A 3D printer. So this was sent to me by Gearbest on Saturday or something, or Friday, and today's Monday. It was sent to me by DHL and the whole thing came down super quick. Oh my god, the contents of this box look so scary. The Axis Stepper, the Left Frame Module, the hot bed fastener set. So basically guys, we have a bit of a task ahead of us and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna film this whole process. Okay, so after I finished building it, which by the way took me probably three hours maybe, it is now absolutely still not working. I have to uh, calibrate it, which basically means it needs to be set up. Um, the software needs to match the specific details of my printer. All of it I don't really understand at all. So if you just put the thing together, you buy it, you spend your 200 and something dollars on it, and you put it together, what can you expect? So I'm gonna try and print a uh, battery cover. In fact, I already have printed it and it's in my hand right now. And it came out looking um, relatively interesting. There's quite a lot of uh, support material that's still actually on the, um, the battery cover itself, but it does look like it's pretty much the same size and I can see how eventually once I get that material off, it will look like the actual battery cover for a Game Boy Light. So here it is. I have actually taken all of the support material off now. And uh, it looks pretty decent, to be honest. It doesn't look uh, professional by any means. Um, however, I should, as I mentioned before, point out that this has not fully been calibrated yet. This is literally just, you buy it, you take it out, and you put it together. The support material on the inside is still kind of present. I would probably have to sand that out. Again, I think the reason why there is still support material inside there and it didn't just come out easily enough is because the print is just not set up properly. Let's take a Game Boy and see if it works. So here is our Game Boy Light. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some batteries in here just to make it a fair test to see if uh, when you print something after not calibrating the printer, does it work? Here is the battery cover. As I said, it's still a little bit bumpy, but if you were to sand that down and give it a coat of spray paint, um, it probably wouldn't actually look too bad, to be honest. And it doesn't look too bad. It's just, um, you know, obviously it's not the right color. You'd have to get some silver filament and it wouldn't finish uh, the same. Um, and yeah, let's just put it in and see if it works. So, seems to be the right size-ish. Quite hard to get it in. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's a little bit short. If you guys enjoy this video, then I will be making some more um, 3D prints. I just wanted a kind of pr preliminary test. Uh, as I said, this took three hours to do. Um, the software that I'm using is Cura, uh, and I haven't again, I haven't even calibrated that up to my printer. And basically, what a um, what a 3D printer software does, um, once you download a file off of Thingiverse, for example, and I'll leave the file, um, the link to this file, in the description below. What it does is it basically shows a 3D virtual image of your printer bed, and then it just puts the um, the, the file into the center, so you can see what it's going to look like when it's finished printing. And what that does is it generates the code which tells the printer where to move, how to, you know, where to put the plastic, where to move to, the height it needs to be, the speed, the temperatures. It gives it all of that information. So the fact that I haven't even moved any de details at all, I pretty much just kept everything stock. And it's printed obviously slightly too small, um, probably about 5% too small, 10% too small, whatever printer um, this guy used to... Um, or this person used to make this obviously is different to mine but it's printed and it looks pretty good it feels amazing it looks very very similar to an official Game Boy Light battery cover obviously the two the differences being that this is um you know it's a little bit taller I think it probably would be maybe hard to get that curve right or something or maybe when I print it the right size it will have those right curves but you know it works if you wanted to you know, just print a battery cover for your Game Boy. Um, it doesn't have to be a Game Boy Light, there's lots of them on there. And it just keeps the batteries in, it stops them from falling out, it stops your fingers from touching the batteries and moving them if you are if you have slightly dirty uh, corrosion points on your battery terminals. 
And uh, yeah, I am super happy with this. So thank you very much to Gearbest for sending me this printer. If you guys want to see me print anything specific, then let me know. I'll definitely be doing lots of videos on 3D printing in the future. And uh, I'm quite excited to see what the limitations of this thing is once I've actually got it set up properly. I reiterate the fact that all I've done is just built it and pressed print. So nothing is actually, you know, nothing is exactly how it's going to be when it is all set up. So don't take this as a uh, exact judgment of what the quality is going to be like because, again, I haven't even set it up properly. If you guys want to check out the uh, 3D printer, the links are all in the description. I would go and give Gearbest a bit of love, guys. Honestly, they sell so much stuff on there. And it's super cheap as well. It's really, really good prices. Um, I'm not just saying that. I actually used Gearbest before they started asking if I wanted to make videos with them. So, um, yeah, you can get lots of nice little handhelds and stuff, which are relatively inexpensive. They also have lots of um, TV plug-and-play consoles, which if you're having your mates around or something and you just want to get a, a cheap console in case beer gets spilt on it, they work. They're absolutely fantastic. I've done lots of videos on them on my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed what do you think of this 3D printer cover? I know it's not finished yet, so don't judge, but I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.